you can't help but come around the corner here on Ingle Road and just be taken up in that sweeping view across the parade field and seeing Admiralty Inlet and the water. This home, the one that we affectionately call the Colonel's House, it was built in 1904. It served as the field officer's quarters for the commanding officer here at Fort Casey. I think after 120 some years, you could say it's pretty tough. Fort Casey was established as part of the Coast Artillery Defense System, what many people know as the Triangle of Fire. What we've found from guests is where they end up spending most of their time is on that sun porch because you just want to sit there, take in the views, the sunset as, as it's golden hour. A lot of what folks will experience here in the house is original, much of it, not all of it, <laughs> the kitchen being one of them. The kitchen's been updated so that it has all the appliances that you might need come to expect in a modern home. The house possesses the kinds of noises that old homes tend to possess, where you go, what is that whistling in the background? What is that creaking when nobody's up walking around? And so there are moments where you realize and are rem reminded of just how fragile history can be. And while it's resistant to change and is strong, it's simultaneously fragile. We're hoping that, that this space offers a transformational experience in the sense that when you're in this space, you can feel its history. And I, I hope what they experience is that they're a part of a story that's much larger than themselves, but that also includes them, that they're integral characters of that story. And I think this historical space has the ability to do that, to draw you in and put things into perspective as far as where you're situated in history, on this planet, and what role you might have to play as you interact with the world around you.